Howdy gang and welcome to your 20th Python 3 tutorial and in this video we're going to put some of the things we've learnt together to create a bar tab project. Alright then, so in this tutorial what I want to do is bring together some of the different things we've learnt so far in this series and create some kind of mini project and this mini project is going to be some kind of program that is going to calculate a bar tab. So if you're working behind a bar, you can use this program if you want to keep tabs on a particular party of four that's sat down on table one. All right, so what we're gonna do first of all, and you'll notice by the way, I've navigated to the projects directory over here in the console. What we're gonna do is create a new file in this projects directory, and I'm gonna call this bar underscore tab dot py. Now the way this is gonna work is we're gonna store all the functionality of this tab in a class and then when we have a new party of four or a party of five coming to the bar and then when I start a new tab we create a new instance of this tab object all right so first thing then class tab that is the name of the class and then the first thing that we're going to do is create an attribute on the class level and this is going to be the menu so this is fixed for every tab the menu is going to remain the same and I guess what you could do is split off this menu into a separate module if you want if it's extensive but I'm going to do a very simple menu so I'm just going to keep it as a class level attribute inside this class so I'll say menu and it's going to be equal to a dictionary remember dictionaries look like this with the curly braces Okay, so we need some different properties inside this dictionary. Now the keys are gonna be the name of the items on the menu. So for example, wine, and this is gonna to equal to some kind of numeric value, which could be dollars or pounds. So that's five. Okay, now we need beer, and this is gonna be like three. We'll also do soft drink, and this is gonna be two. We'll do chicken, so some kind of food, and this can be 10. What else do we need? Beef maybe, and the beef can be a bit more expensive, 15. Uh, we'll do veggie option, and then that can be about 12, and then it can't be a pub without some kind of dessert, but in this pub, all the desserts are gonna be the same price of six. Okay, cool, so now that's our very simple menu sorted out. Now what we need to do is hook up some kind of functionality. But before we do that, what I want to do is create that init function, this kind of constructor function, first of all, so that when we create a new instance of this tab, it's going to set up some basic properties for us. So underneath this, I'm going to say def and then underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore. So this is the initialization function, which takes the self attribute, remember, sorry, the self parameter. And then inside here, we can say self dot total first of all so this is going to be the running total of the bill and that's going to start at zero and then also self dot items and that's going to be the kind of list of items as we add them to the bill so if they have a wine we can add wine here beef we can add beef etc so to begin with this is just an empty list okay okay so that's the initialization function sorted now what i want to do is add a function which is going to add an item to this list right here and also maybe increase the total. So when a user or someone orders a drink, then we can add an item, make sense? So to do that, I'm going to create an instance method and this is gonna be called add. So def add and it's gonna take in self as a parameter and also the item which you want to add. So inside here, what we're gonna do is say self dot items which is this property right here and then we want to add something to this list now how do we do that well we just say dot append so this is a method we can use to add something to a list and then we're going to append whatever the item is that we pass in remember we pass in an item right here so i can add that item to the list now okay so what we also want to do is update the total the running total this thing right here we want to add how much that item is so we'll say self dot total so that refers to this property right here and then we'll say plus equals so we're going to add to it self dot menu so we're referring to this dictionary right here and then we want to pass in a key which is going to be the item the menu item they've had so if it's beer then it's going to look for this key and it's going to return the value then so if this was beer then it will return right here three and it's going to add three to the total make sense so we're adding the item to the list and we're also updating the total right here with the cost of what they've had. 
Okay, so that's keeping track of everything they've had. Now what I want to do, at the end of the night, they want to print the bill somehow, and we want to work out what they owe. So what I'm going to do is define a new function down here, which is going to be called, and we'll say def print underscore bill. And this is going to take in self again. So it's an instance function. And we're also going to take in a tax parameter so we can specify what the tax is and also some kind of service charge as well. You know, like a, a tip 10% or something like that. So let me just give myself a little bit of room here. So the first thing I want to do inside this function is work out the tax, right? So the tax is going to be equal to the tax that we pass in, first of all. Right, so say we pass in 10 for 10%, then we need to convert that. So we'll say tax over 100 and then times self.total. Okay, so say for example, we pass in 10 for 10%. We're going to divide that by 100, which will be 0 0.1. Then we're we'll times in 0 0.1 by the total of the bill. Imagine that was 100 pounds. So 0 0.1 times 100 pounds gives us 10. So we're adding on 10 pounds in tax. So that's the tax that we're storing right here, yeah? Next, we'll do the same for the service. So service is gonna equal to, same thing again, service over 100, and then that is gonna be times by self.total again. So same principle. We need to just pass in a um, percentage for the service, could be 15, divide that by 100, 0.15 times that by the self.total and then we're going to get the service charge that we need to add onto the bill as well. Okay, so after that we want to work out the total, the running total, which is going to be this thing plus the tax plus the service. So we're going to say total is equal to self.total plus the tax that we just created right here and then plus the service that we just calculated as well. So now we have the overall total, right? And we want to print this out to the screen, but I'm going to print it out in some kind of formatted way. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a for loop right here. And this for loop is going to cycle through the different items in this items list, right? So we're going to output these. So we'll say for item in self.items, which is the list right here, okay? So we're cycling through each one of these, and then each time around, what I'm gonna do is print something out, and this is gonna be a formatted string. So inside this formatted string, we're gonna output, first of all, the item, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is output the price of the item. So I'll say next to it, a pound symbol, first of all, we're gonna calculate this in pounds, and then we're gonna output self.menu, and then whichever item is inside that menu we want to look up. So we're outputting the price of that particular item. Make sense? Cool, so now we've done that for each item. Underneath that, what I want to do is also print out the total of the whole bill. So I'm going to say print, and then in here, it's going to be a formatted string once again, and inside that string, I'm going to output the total, right? So I'm going to say in double quotes, first of all, the total. So what we can do in here is actually print out a string in this expression, the curly braces, right? We don't just have to output some kind of variable name, any kind of expression we can output in here. So I'm outputting a string and it's in double quotes so we don't escape out of this single quote. So I'm saying the total right here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do, and I'll tell you why I'm doing that in a minute, by the way, I'm gonna come back to it. And then what I'm gonna do is next to it, put a pound symbol and then do the total inside here and that's going to be output now then what i want to do is output this as two decimal places so i'm going to do the colon then dot to f remember we covered that in string formatting in a previous tutorial so now whew, let me try and print this out what i'm going to do is come into here and i'm going to run the python interpreter so we're in the python interpreter now in the interactive shell now what I want to do is import this bar tab um, module. So I'll say from, and then it's going to be bar underscore tab, import, and we want to import this class right here, tab, right? So now we've imported it. And what we can do is we can create a new instance of a tab now. So say for example, someone comes in and sits on table one. So we say table one, new variable, equals to a tab, an instance of the tab, right? 
So now we have table one, and if we type that in, we can see here that table is not defined <laughs> That's because I forgot the one. So table one is now a bar tab object, right? Cool. So now what we can do is we can use these different methods. We can add items to this tab. So what I'm going to do is add some items. I'm going to say table one, and then I'm going to add an item. And this item is going to be equal to one of these things right here. So let's just add, first of all, a soft underscore drink. OK, so we've added this item now. Next, let's add the chicken. So I'm going to say table one dot add and the chicken. And then finally, what I'll do is I'll add one more thing, which is a dessert. So I'll say table one dot add and it's going to be the dessert like so. And now what I want to do is work out the total and print the total, print the bill, right? So I'm going to call this function now print bill. So I'll say table one dot print underscore bill. And I'm going to call that function. Now what we're going to do is pass in the tax and the service. So the tax is going to be 10%. And I'm also going to say 10% for the service. So now we can see we've got the bill here. We've got the soft drink, which is two, the chicken, which is 10 pound, the dessert, which is six, and the total as well with the tax and the service included. Awesome. So one thing you want to do is format this slightly better. Now just watch this little trick. This is why I placed this expression right here. So first of all, we said we can format certain things within these curly braces using string formatting. And to do that, we add in a column, right? Then the options. Now, what happens if we just add a number right here? And I'm going to do the same thing to this down here, this string. I'm going to do a colon after it. We can format this. And I'm going to say 20 after it. OK, so if I save this now, check out what happens. I'm going to cancel out of this and I'm going to run the file again. Let me just clear it first of all. I'm going to run uh, Python again, the interactive shell, and I'm going to import from and it's from bar underscore tab and I'm importing the tab, right? So I'm importing this thing again. Now, again, I want to say table will do table two equals a new tab. Oops, I didn't add on the thing over there. So table two now is now a new tab object. So let's just add two things. We'll say table two dot add and we're going to add the wine first of all. And then we'll say table two dot add and we'll add on the beef. All right. So now we have two things on this uh, tab. Now let's work out the bill. So we'll say table two dot print underscore bill. And again, what I'm going to do is add on 10 for the tax and 10 for the service charge, 10 percent each. And this time what it's done is formatted this. So this thing right here, wine, beef and total all go up to this line over here where we have the total and this just looks a little bit nicer. So what this is doing right here, this 20 is saying, OK, well, I want this to be 20 characters long. Basically, the precision is about 20 characters. So this over here is going to be 20 characters, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, blah, 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 all the way to 20. And so each one is as long as each other. Therefore, these all line up next to each other. All right. So there we go. There is our first very simple project using classes uh, just to work out the mm -hmm. total of a bar tab.